Hi. Welcome to my channel. Um. In this video I will show you that. This old and wasteful computers. With very outdated Intel i3 second generation processor. And 4 GB memory. And 128 GB SSD. Can run official Windows 11. I. Official version. How does it work? On the previous video. We guide you on how to update Windows 10 to 11 on unsupported PC. You can see the video on the top right. Today I will show you how to clean install. Or fresh install Windows 11 on all PC. So let's get start to do this job. We need USB installation media to do this. At least 8 GB. And make sure the USB is empty. Then download the Windows 11 official ISO file. I, from the official website. Because it's a little bit risky to use the unofficial one. The download link is available in video description. What is the risk of using unofficial ISO file? The unofficial software usually modified by third party. Or any person who developed the software. They can inject any unwanted bloatware, malware. Or the other dangerous software. For safety, I recommend use the official version. From the official website. The ISO size is about 5 GB. So it will take some minute to download. Depend on your internet connection. While waiting the Windows ISO file finish. Download the Rufus tool. This is the tool we use to create the installer. And also to bypass the essentials requirements on Windows 11. TPM, Secure Boot, CPU version. I use Intel i3, second general released on quarter 1 2011. Now this processor discontinued. See? 11 years old processor can run Windows 11. Rufus download link is available in video description. Use the 3.18 version. When the download finish, open the folder location and click on the Rufus icon. A Rufus update notifications appear. Click on No button. Rufus app is open. Here you can see. First step. Select your USB drive. Then select the boot selection to disk or ISO image. Then click on the Select button. Browse for Windows official ISO we have downloaded in the previous step. Next step, this is the important option. Select the extended Windows 11 installation. No TPM, no secure boot, instead of the standard one. Leave the partition scheme and target system to the default. Then you can rename your USB label. In this video, I use Windows 11 installation name. Check your options. Then you can start the creation. Click on the Start button. USB installation media creation is starting. A warning message appear. Warn you that all of your data in USB will be deleted. Click OK button to continue the creation. This will take some minute to create the installation media. Rufus will modify the Windows 11 ISO files. To bypass the Windows 11 requirements. TPM, Secure Reboot, CPU requirements. So any wasted computers like mine can run Windows 11. Basically Windows 11 engine is the same as Windows 10. The major difference is the design and interface. And the Android app integration. This is something Windows users have been waiting for for years. And marks another move toward the merging of mobile and laptop devices. In the previous, Windows users have to install Android emulator. To run any Android application on their Windows machine. The next difference is better virtual desktop support. Windows 11 will let you set up virtual desktops. In a way that's similar to Macs. It allows for toggling between multiple desktops at once. For personal, work, school or gaming. In Windows 10, this was harder to set up and use. The USB installation media is now finished. And it's ready for the further step. Close the Rufus app. 
So, it's time to do some magic. First eject the USB from the computer. Now plug the USB installation media to your unsupported PC. As you can see, I plugged this USB to my wasted computers. To prove you that this is not fake method, I'm opening the BIOS. Set up this PC to boot from the USB drive. Because my PC still boot from the SSD drive. To opening the BIOS, restart your PC. Then press the escape or Dell or F2 on your keyboard. Depend on your BIOS settings. After changing the first boot to USB drive. Then press F10 on your keyboard to save the BIOS settings. Then select yes options. Now the PC is restarting and boot from the USB. Snap. The Windows 11 icon is appear. Good sign. Now wait for the Windows installation preparation. As the other Windows version installation. It's very easy to do. Okay it's time to completely install Windows 11. Select the language for your PC. Then time and currency format. Keyboard or input method. Um. Then click on the next button. Click on the Install Now button. The setup will start soon. Ah, almost forget. Because it's a clean install, it's need a product key. But we will skip the product key. And continue the installation. Click on the I don't have a product key options. This will skip the activation. Now it's a list of Windows 11 version. Choose your desired. I will choose the home version. Then click on the next button. Now applicable notice and license terms. Read for the license terms. I will skip because of the video duration. Tick on the I accept the Microsoft software license terms options. Then click on the next button. Now is type of the installation. There is two options. First the upgrade from the previous Windows version. This will keep your files, settings, and applications on the previous Windows. As I told you I will do a clean install. So I choose the second type. Custom. This will install Windows only. All your data, settings, and application on your previous version will destroy. Then choose the partition for Windows. And click on the next button. This will format your partition. Click on the OK button. And now Windows installation process is starting. The process is similar to Windows 10 installation. I will skip some part of this video. Because of the process duration this takes some minutes. Some of you may be have a questions. Why I set up the PC naked. It's all to prove that I use old parts. And this is officially not support Windows 11. Ah forget, I use the H61 motherboard. No brand, OEM. The socket is LG1155. I use the Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse to operate this PC. You can see, there is no other PC. And the monitor socket is plug on the motherboard. It's an 15 years old monitor and being wasted. Okay still waiting the process. And then Windows will need restart to continue. See the BIOS is American Megatrends. And it's very old BIOS versions. Still waiting for the boot. Ah forget some part. After the installation finished. We have to change the boot options. From USB drive to the SSD. Ok I will restart it and open the BIOS settings. Then change the boot options to SSD. I'm sorry I forgot those part. Press F10 to save changes the BIOS settings. And click yes to restart the PC. And wait the PC restarting. How long will it take? Guess it, it will faster than Windows 10 boot. Snap. Now choose the operating system. Windows 11 of course. Now starting services for the first time. And getting devices ready.
Mo thought Sid. The new logo animation. And then we have to finishing the installation. By completing the settings of this PC. First, select the region and country. And then click yes button. Select your keyboard. Layout and input method. Again click yes button. And then skip the second layout keyboard. Now the network settings. You can see the device doesn't have a working internet connection. Hence the next button is disabled or grayed out. In Windows 10. If the setup detected no internet connection available. It completed the installation without installing required updates. And allowed users to create a local user account. But Windows 11 just stops it lets connect you to a network screen. When there is no internet connectivity in the device. We can bypass this setting. Press Shift and F10 keys together. It'll launch command prompt window on the top of setup wizard window. Type RBE backslash bypass NRO. And then press enter. This will reboot your system. Post which you should see. I don't have internet option. Now the PC is reboot. Wait for a seconds. Then we have to fill the computer settings again. Select the region and country. And then click yes button. Select your keyboard. Layout and input method. Again click yes button. And then skip the second layout keyboard. Now the network settings. As you can see. Now there is I don't have internet connection options. Click on it. And then click on the continue with limited setup. Ah, the problem is solved. Now we have to create a local user account. First name of the account. I give this name test. Then click on the next button. Then create a super memorable password for this account. Click on the next button. Confirm your password. And then click next button. Now we have to add security questions. Three questions is needed. Okay first question. I choose what is your first pet's name. Then the answer. Click next button. Now second questions. I choose what is your childhood name. Then the asking were. Click next button. Now third questions. I choose what is the name of your older cousin. Answer again. Okay then next button. Now choose privacy settings for your device. I will turn off all the options. Wait. Why I turned all of this options off? Because it's just a test PC. So I need to protect my privacy. Even after this installation finish. I will destroy the PC. Okay the last option. Then click on the accept button. Blank screen. Just can't wait. Okay. Your PC say hi to you. And said getting ready for you. Okay, I will wait all the thing is ready. I tell you another Windows 11 upgrade. The new OS includes features called Snap Groups and Snap Layouts. Collections of the apps you're using at once that sit in the taskbar. And can come up or be minimized at the same time for easier task switching. They also let you plug and unplug from a monitor easily. Without losing where your open windows are located. Okay the windows is booting up. Now we will check the brand new Windows 11 on unsupported PC. Click on the start menu. Then click on the settings icon. Gear icon. Now scroll down to about menu. And click on it. I will zoom. See. 
my old wasted PC, which run on Intel Core i3-2120. And only have 4 gigabytes DDR3 memory. On this nasty old monitor. Scroll down to Windows specification information. OK the agent has complete the mission. Install Windows 11 on old and ugly wasted unsupported PC. Using the USB installation media. Just comments on this video. If you having a trouble on installing Windows 11. On unsupported PC. I will reply as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. And activate the notifications. Like this video. And see you in the other video. Thanks for watching my video.